I'm Linus. I'm Dana. We are with Hitching Up and Moving On. Okay, guys, real short video here. I am going to cover this hole behind my slide out grill because all the air leaks escapes into my camper that comes in behind my fireplace. So I tied up all the wires in here. It's a lot better than they were. They was all just dangling. This was after my big electrical disaster. I just thought I'd give you guys a, an idea of what I'm doing here. Um, still working on this electrical project that we had in the camper. Um, I'll show you what I did to block off this um, big old air gap behind the fireplace. You flip the camera. I got a little hole at the bottom. I wish I could fill this a little bit of foam. But otherwise, that took care of that big. I put a stepper board on it so it'd still slide in as far as it needed to. And I just put that in there. Cleaned everything up in here in the wiring. It's about as good as it's going to get, but at least now maybe this stuff won't bounce loose and be causing havoc. So, okay. We have this, everybody, we have this back, put back together in here. This is behind the TV. I tied up some more wiring in there and over here. And I got the fireplace back in. All the wires tied up behind it. TV. I guess I'm in the picture there a little bit, but that's all done right in there. Come in our bathroom and I got the fuse panel put back in and the wires all were okay in there. There was nothing wrong. I just want to make sure so it's done. If you ever have to look for Jim Junction boxes, they're underneath this drawer that's in here and you have to pull this drawer out. So there's two junction boxes underneath there. So make sure if you ever have any electrical problems, that's where they're going to be or might possibly could be. In your little cabinet next to your sink, there is um, another panel comes out right there that lets you get your water pump back behind there and more wiring back behind here that runs your GFI. So we got all this put back together in here. Everything looking pretty good. I got to clean it out now because we got dust on it, but it's still looking pretty good. The GFI is all put back together. I had it apart to check wires so it's done. Me again. Um, I'm going to show you how the couch comes out of here. We got to fasten it back in here after all the electrical work we got, but I'm going to show you actually how you take it out if you ever need to. So you grab it right here and you fold it out. And I grab it wrong, of course. Just like you're just holding it out for a person. As you can see, it's loose in there right now. The whole thing moves around. Not supposed to do that. So then, let me get my screws and my drill. I got some screws that go over here. And it'll have to be adjusted while I'm down here. These little brackets right there, they have to line up on each side. There should be holes in the floor from it. I gotta figure out where I got them at. There's, they're right here, actually. The holes are right. It's not putting much light on me. The holes are right there. So I gotta line that up there, which means bring this over. So we go back to the wall farther. Let me try to zoom in. There's not much light in that little hole there. Let it go right there in the floor. You can see the previous holes. So, pause that. Okay, as you can see, I screwed it down to the floor right there. There's a bracket on the other side, exactly the same way. Line it up. You do, if you don't want to take your couch out to get behind it in case you get, well, we took it out because we dropped something in there and then realized that we had some quite a bit of dust and dirt in there at one time from because we have a dog and she loses a little hair. So we cleaned it and then we took, and um, this is where I have my electrical problems. It's actually right behind this on this table down on that side panel comes off and there's another junction box in there for wiring don't forget it if you ever have electrical wiring especially if you have no tv because that's where our problem was okay jack here's the problem
can hear here, I'm gonna retape these wires and re-zip tie them really good. It's look how open that is. It's just stupid, like water getting there. And then I got the cover put on over there. So I think we're about done. Underneath the camper, still working on it. Um, we tied up, I typed and taped up these wirings that was all hanging loose. Um, I'm gonna make sure when it slides in and out it doesn't cause a problem, it shouldn't. They was just bare wires in the wind, I don't like that. I did the same thing back here, this one was just dangling in the wind, I tied it up against that. But, so anyhow, thought I'd let you know, you might wanna look at this stuff on your camper too. Thanks. It's kind of what it looks like when it's all rolled in together. So, it gets it a pretty good flex, doesn't it? Well, amazes me. That wiring can even hold up underneath that much. Okay, time. guys. We got all this put back together out here, too. The slide out um, stove is put back together here. And all the wiring. Okay, this is how your couch looks after it goes back together, which you should know. But, like I said, if you ever have to pull it out, now you know how to do it. Kind of works the same way with the recliners, except for the recliners my wife's sitting in right now. You want to show them the recliners real quick, honey? The underneath them, when you pop out the recliner, one side will come out first, and then the other side will come out second. They kind of hook into each other. Actually, one lifts up on the right side. The one on the left lifts up on the right side, and then clips into two clips down through there, and then lets the other one um, stay with it. So basically, if you ever have to take that apart, it would be, it's not real hard, just a couple screws on the floor, and then that, and then you got the recliners out in case you ever have to get behind there, because there is a plug in over there on that wall, I guess in case you have electric recliners. This one don't have them. You know, Stacy Stewart, she's the best. <laughs> so, um, she's right there along with somebody else, I'd say, but anyhow. So, hey, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to keep rolling a little bit if we see something else. So we're just going to pause this for now.